we need to make sure there's a cost to anti-Semitism. That is absolutely crucial. There has to be a cost. Whether that is the hate crime offender getting arrested and getting, you know, prosecuted, uh, or whether it is the, um, the social media offender getting banned from social media, or whether it's the person expressing ideas just getting ostracized professionally or socially, there needs to be a cost. Now, what can governments do about this? There's, 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 there's things governments can do, but there's also a limit to what they can do. Governments can make sure that there is appropriate legislation in place to deal with hate crimes. They can make sure that Jewish communities have funding for security. Um, they can make sure that anti-Semitism is, is investigated properly uh, and that anti-Semitic terrorist groups are investigated properly. They can also show leadership, right? Let's not underestimate the power of leadership. The situation in the British Labour Party is completely different now from what it was under Jeremy Corbyn, and that is because of the new leadership has changed. Um, but beyond that, it's not just governments that need to do something. We need changes in society and in civil society. And governments can only go so far in all of this because there are, especially when we talk about anti-Semitism of the sort we saw during the Gaza conflict that come from elements of the radical left and so on. These are not parts of society that necessarily listen to governments especially if it's a conservative government as we have in Britain at the moment. So there's other forms of leadership we need in society, especially from, from those bodies that are traditionally anti-racist and anti-discrimination, whether that is trade unions, whether it's churches and, uh, and religious leaders, whether it's you know, other, other, other um, kind of opinion formers and so on, to basically make sure anti-Semitism is socially unacceptable. And that there is, like I say, there is a cost, even if it's an informal cost, um, that people suffer for expressing these views. Um, but my final point, what can governments do? Regulate the internet. If I had one policy ask of every government, uh, every democratic Western government, let's put it that way, introduce uh, proper uh, so regulation of the internet and social media, 